So let's see. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Money Monday with Purse Strings. So happy to be here today. I'm Dr. Barbara Provo, founder of Purse Strings. My counterpart, Maggie's out for today with a little bit of illness. So we're giving her a little bit of a rest, but I'm so happy to be here today on Money Monday and to introduce to you one of our own Purse Strings Approved Professionals, Nancy Hetrick. So Nancy, jump in and give us a little intro about yourself. Yeah, good morning. I'm so happy to be here with you today. And thank you for uh, asking me to pop on with you. So I am a financial advisor by trade. Um, been a financial advisor since 99, so 24 years. And found myself facing divorce after an 18-year marriage in 2007. And I was just so disappointed in the lack of resources available, especially for my spouse and I when we didn't want to lawyer up. We didn't mm -hmm. want to go to war. We right. wanted to do something that was more family friendly. And they made the resources that we've needed were just not available to us. Mm -hmm. And so it was shortly after that, that I learned about this credential, a certified divorce financial analyst. And I thought, wow, I just really want to help, especially women, not make some of the financial mistakes that I made mm -hmm. in my divorce. Fast forward. Um, I started my own company on the side, Smarter Divorce Solutions, in, as, and continued to be a, a full-service financial advisor until this year, mm. and built a business around no lawyers, no judges, no courtrooms, divorce done differently, and uh, financial expertise, your family at the center. Uh, one of the things I tell people is, look, you, I want you to be the best divorced family you can be, because you're always going to be a family, and that's not going to change. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wow. So that is so interesting, kind of mind blowing that people think divorce, traditional, you get an attorney, I'll get an attorney, we'll fight it out in court, and it'll be horrific. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Sure, it's a time of sadness and con some contention and, and um, you know, guilt and shame and all of that. But so tell us a little bit about how you do it, Nancy. Yeah, well, so it's basically one of two ways because there's actually, believe it or not, there's five different ways you can get mm -hmm. a divorce. Right. From the absolute do-it-yourself end of filling out some papers yourself and filing them with the court to the opposite end where you both have attorneys and it's an attorney-driven divorce. Right. What we really specialize in is those those gradients in the middle from mediation to collaborative divorce. And so let me show you a little bit of each. Yes. I, I actually have a process in between those two called mediation plus. And so typical mediation, you have a neutral, a third party neutral that guides the conversations between you and your spouse to ultimately come up with your own settlement agreements. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. But the, that kind of a mediator is not typically educated in anything financial. They're usually either attorneys or mental health professionals. Mm. And so they pretty much just throw it on you. How do you want to do it? Well, what if you've got a lot of complicated things going on, like right. rental properties and pensions and retirement plans, and, and maybe there's rental properties or businesses, and you're not going to get a lot of guidance there. So then the next level is what I call the mediation plus, where you have a third party neutral mediator, but you also have a neutral financial expert like myself mm -hmm. to help everybody get educated about all the possible options that are available so the couple can make these really good, informed, educated decisions. Mm -hmm. then the next level beyond that would be a formal collaborative divorce. And a lot of people think, well, what does that mean? Not mm -hmm. a lot of people are educated about it. The International Association for Collaborative Practice has actually been around over 20 years. Wow. This is an international, very um, structured process where each party has their own collaboratively trained attorney. There's a neutral financial like myself, and there's either one or two we call them here, we call them communication coaches. In other areas, they'll call them the family specialist. That person is usually a mental health provider that is not playing the role of therapist. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. They're helping each party deal with all of the emotions that they're going through. Mm -hmm. And they're typically helping just to, to facilitate the communication in the meetings as well. So the big no misnomer about collaborative divorce is the couples will think, oh, no, I can't collaborate with my spouse. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's the why we're couple, here. <laughs> right? The couple doesn't have to be collaborative. The team of professionals yeah. is collaborative on their behalf. Got and it. All of us are committed to settlement. So wow. it really is a pretty phenomenal process. It's quite different from what we kind of understand from the past where attorneys are kind of, you know, being very conflictual and it doesn't really have to be that way. Um, and I, what I love around the CDFA, the certified divorce financial analyst is, and I've heard it say, you know, attorneys, they understand the law and that's where their focus should be, but they don't understand the complexities around the financials. And like you said, if there's a lot of different financial things to consider, like, you know, rental units or several houses or lots of different investments or funds, re pension, all of that, and the tax impl implications of moving some monies around can be big. Um, that's where you really need a CDFA on your team. And here at Purse Strings, we always say, you know, it can be a team because there are different lanes there that people stay in, in terms of their areas of expertise. So, um, what does it take to work with someone like you? Like, does it, is there a certain time frame, a certain cost? Most CDFA professionals will bill hourly. Mm -hmm. um, I have some flat fee programs when it's either mediation or collaborative. And so that's something that we're seeing more of now. I think it's very reassuring to a couple to know up front what's the total cost. is. Absolutely. Going to be. Sure, sure. Yep. So doing a lot of flat fee work. Um, the beauty of the CDFA work for me, and I know all my fellow practitioners, is what you mentioned about tax impacts. Yeah. Because the attorneys are not trained in finance they will tend to default to just cut everything in half, take every single, single piece and hack it in half. And I will tell you financially, that's almost never the best way to do things. Yeah. Um, I've had cases with couples where, you know, their total net worth is, is not nowhere near a million dollars, but using creative settlement strategies, I've been able to save them 40, 50, $60,000 in taxes. Wow. See, and, that's so important. Yeah. Big numbers. So yeah. it makes it so easy for them to pay my fee when I save them so much more money. Right. And so it's just such a want a privilege to do this work and see it in such a tangible way. Yeah. And make it, you know, the best of a bad situation, really, for the most part. So do you also work with like child agreements and things like that? I, I personally do. But Barbara, I'm kind of a bit of a freak in this area because <laughs> when, I, when I started doing this work and, and couples started showing up and I realized I was woefully unprepared to deal with whole humans and, you know, rather than bring in a whole bunch of different professionals, I just said, well, I have some skill sets I need to shore up. So mm. I be, got hundreds of hours of mediation training and I'm trained mm. in collaborative divorce and I'm trained as a financial forensic and I'm a certified divorce coach. And wow. so I try to really deal with whole human beings. Got it. And there are times when I just need to be able to stay in my lane. And right. so having those other professionals that we can bring onto the team to really help people feel supported it is so important. It's so important. And I think, you know, that's probably one of my best pieces of advice for anyone out there that that's watching us. You're going to need more than one person. Yep. Because everyone is trained specially and divorce is a multifaceted thing to go through. You've got the kids right. and your parenting. You've got the relationship with your spouse going forward. You've got all the financial aspects. Mm -hmm. and, and for so many women, it can involve a career change as well. Wow. And getting back into the workforce. There's right. so much going on. You need the support team around you to help build up that strength. 
Um, I'm sure, Barbara, that some of the professionals that you work with will have talked about divorce brain. Mm -hmm. There's a very real psychological thing that happens when you're facing divorce. It's such a high stress level mm -hmm. that you revert into your, your amygdala, your fight or fl flight brain, your reptilian brain. And studies have shown that you actually lose about 10 IQ points when wow. you're going through a divorce. So if you feel like you're having trouble making the simplest of decisions, you, you are absolutely right. And it is perfectly normal. So wow. Get, get the support people around you that can help you. Well, yes. And I was going to say, you know, you get your team together, you get your finances in order, you get your um, legal people in order, you got people like you in order, whoever's on your team. But what about your own emotion? What about your own shame around divorce, especially for women? And a lot of what we see here at Purse Strings is so many women have given the financial responsibilities over to their spouse. Yeah. And then when it comes to divorce, they're kind of dare in the headlights, like, what did I do? What do I do? You know, and it's a very vulnerable place to be. It, it is. It absolutely is. And it, it's interesting because I'm actually in the middle of getting my certified financial transitionist credential as well. Oh, no grass grows under <laughs> your feet. <laughs> I know. No, it doesn't. But this is why, right? Yeah. This is a massive financial transition. Mm -hmm. and, and the first thing I would say is if you are this person who was the non-CFO spouse, mm -hmm. which is how I like to talk about it. Yes. This is nothing to be ashamed of. Right. It just simply wasn't your role during the marriage. Right. You're not stupid. You're not, you know, it, it's not that you, you don't do math. You <laughs> just need now to learn. You need to be brought up to speed and that's going to take some time. Right. So some of those other team members might be a financial coach mm -hmm. that just works on budgeting and cash management if you've not done it for 20 years. Right. right. A financial transitionist, which um, you know, we see women all the time that might get a extremely large divorce settlements and they've never managed their own money. Right. So they need a team of trustworthy professionals to help usher them into that next phase of their lives successfully and with confidence. That's right. Wow. You've given us so much great information. I'm trying to think about, um, you know, beyond divorce. Yeah. Um, what happens once everything is signed, sealed, delivered, kind of the whirlwind is you're kind of through it and then things are, you know, starting to settle down a little bit. Do you work with women about who are they now type? Uh, what does my new life look like, should look like? Yeah. It's, it's big. It's huge. And that's specifically that certified financial transitionist okay. is the financial advisors. Typically, they're CFP professionals, okay. specially trained on ushering you from that past reality to your new reality in a in a time frame and at a pace that's comfortable for you, helping you identify what are the decisions that are urgent that I have to make right now. Right. And what are the decisions that frankly can wait yeah. until I'm at a better place? Yeah. Cause don't they say it typically takes a year uh, to get through kind of the roller coaster of emotions and, and really defining um, your new life. And before you really make big decisions on, I don't know, moving or um, changing jobs or something like that, those are big changes in someone's life. Um, you've already gone through a huge change and uh, kind of are taking on a new identity as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and in fact, I think what we're really finding is it takes one year just to feel your feet on the ground again. Wow. Yeah. But then it takes another year before you wake up one day and you look around and go, yeah, you know what? I'm good. I'm okay. Yeah. And this is good. And you really yeah. sink into whatever that new normal is. Um, so it's a very, it's a long process. And what I would say to all of your listeners today is just give yourself some grace. Yes. You know, it's okay to take some time. I, I think the, the most challenging thing that I see happen in that period right after all the papers have been signed is a lot of the non-CFO spouses will kind of go into this period of analysis paralysis. Mm. I'm afraid of making bad decisions, so I'm just not going to make any. Mm -hmm. 
And that can be very costly. That can be a very, very costly mistake. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that happens is there's an abandonment that happens. Once mm. those final documents are drawn, typically the attorneys kind of disappear. Yeah. And even though the paperwork says, okay, you're supposed to get this and you're supposed to get this and you're supposed to get this. And here's all these other things that have to be done. The professionals kind of all disappear. Mm. And so that's where that new team of professionals comes in with whoever your new financial advisor is going to be. And mm -hmm. I would highly recommend they're the certified financial transitionist. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing about financial professionals. And I talked to a lot of non-CFO spouses who are paralyzed on how do I find a financial advisor for myself? Mm -hmm. Look, the reality is as a financial advisor myself, we all have access to the same stuff, guys. There's no big secret out, out there. Mm -hmm. What's more important than anything else is the relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to have somebody who you can speak to. You understand when they talk, they listen to you and you genuinely feel heard and not talked down to and that you feel free and open to share all of your fears and concerns with. That's the professional that's going to really be a lifetime partner for you as you move forward. Right. And that's exactly who we onboard here at Purse Strings. Yeah. I mean, we were created for just that situation so that women had people they could um, talk to, someone who was going to answer their questions, not belittle them, really um, guide them along the way, help, help them, educate them, make them feel successful in their finances. Um, and we always say like for divorce and many other big life situations, you do need a team, you know, you do need a financial person. You may need a coach. We even have CDLPs, I think they're called, where certified divorce lending professionals. I mean, there are different, um, divorce certifications in lots of different lanes, if you will, in terms of financial professionals, but make sure that you can, I mean, you can come to purse strings and put your whole team together right there, because that's who we have uh, ready, willing and able for women, because we want women to have exactly those people right in their hip pocket. So yeah, yeah. Well, and I want to say, give a huge shout out to purse strings, because here's the other reality. Divorce is big business. And there's a lot of professionals out there that will say they specialize in divorce, but aren't really, don't have really any specialized training. Mm -hmm. And Purse Strings does an amazing job of vetting the professionals. So you know that the people that, that you're coming into contact there are in fact qualified specialists in that area. Absolutely. And so just, you know, thank you, Barbara, for putting the platform together oh. for people. Well, sure. I mean, Nancy, you've been through divorce. I've been through divorce. I can't tell you how many people, women would say, I wish I had, I wish I knew, I wish, you know, there someone told me. And that's what we're here for. You know, right. we're here to help women, help other women um, understand what it is, what you need to do, who are the experts, who's my go-to team. And, you know, make it as easy as possible and as understandable as possible for them and traject, you know, have it go through that whole trajectory of what it takes to go through divorce. And we're not just divorce, we're all things financial for women at any point in time. But today we're focusing on divorce. And like you say, it's big business, you want to make sure you're working with approved professionals. So Nancy, as we wrap up today, what are some other pieces of advice you'd like to share before we close out? You know, well, I think about kind of the biggest mistakes that I've seen made. Mm -hmm. And I would say if, if you are a woman facing divorce, some of the biggest mistakes that I, I often see made are number one, keeping a house you can't afford. <sighs> Too often. And I understand that it feels like everything you've known about yourself is being ripped away. And that house feels like something you can hold on to. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you have someone like myself look at it to be sure that it is in fact something that you can sustain. Mm -hmm. You can't sell a window to put food on the table. Right. Other thing I hear a lot about that. Well, I have to stay in the house because the kids just can't handle any more change. Yeah. I got news for you. Kids are fine with change. It's grownups that have a problem with it. Mm. The only thing your kids need is for you to be happy. And if you're mm -hmm. happy and your ex-spouse is happy, the kids are going to be just fine. They're yeah. resilient little people. We're the ones that struggle. Yeah. Change. 
Yeah. So, so don't keep a house you can't afford. Second biggest mistake I see women make is thinking their attorney understands finances and is giving them settlement advice based on that. Mm. Guys, they don't understand finances and a good attorney will admit it. And a yeah. good attorney will bring in a financial professional when you have financial questions that they can't answer. Yeah. 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 That's so important. I mean, the money is the foundation for everything yeah. moving forward. It's so yeah. important. Then so, the last one I would say is yeah. the last big mistake. Cause we got to do three. Yeah is focusing backwards instead of forwards. Mm. Unfortunately, I work with women who have been betrayed, mm -hmm. who have been mentally or emotionally or physically abused mm -hmm. and feel like they should be compensated for that. And there might even be an element of punishment involved. And I cannot tell you, you will do yourself, your children, your entire family and your future, a huge favor. If you can focus forward on what you want the next phase of your life to look like and what can be in place to ensure that that's successful. Mm -hmm. And when somebody can show you, okay, here's the financial settlement that works. Mm -hmm. Be okay with it. Yeah. Know what is your price for peace and your price for peace is getting those needs met. And it might not be everything that it feels like you're entitled to, but it's enough. Yeah. And focus forward. Yeah. The price of peace. I like that. I think we should end it right there. So thank you, Nancy. How can people get a hold of you? I know you're, you have Smarter Divorce Solutions. We have that going across the bottom. And they can find you at purstrings.co. You have your personalized web page there but share what other places they can reach out to you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I also do teaching and training at divorcefinancialtraining.com. I have, my book is on Amazon. And if you're oh. just facing divorce, I wrote my book specifically because every book I've ever read on divorce reads like a textbook. Yeah. And when you've got divorce brain, you cannot read that stuff. Okay. So it's called Divorce is Not for Dummies, How to Cover <laughs> Your Assets. I love and it. You'll learn way more about me than you need to know. But it's very much girlfriend to girlfriend. You'll actually laugh. It's a quick, easy read, and it won't make your head explode. <laughs> I love it. Everything about it. Well, you are such an amazing resource. So well read. I and mean, you've experienced what women are going through. You have all the designations and certifications. So if you are going through divorce or have divorce questions, I highly suggest you reach out to Nancy. She's uh, a go-to for all things divorce, and you can find her at her website or our website. Um, so thank you, Nancy, for bringing your expertise today to Purse Strings and to Money Monday. Thank you so much for having me, Barbara. Most welcome. See you all next week. Bye.